In 1928, a simple accident led to one of the greatest medical discoveries in human history, the discovery of penicillin. At the time, a Scottish scientist named Alexander Fleming was studying bacteria at St. Mary's Hospital in London. He was searching for ways to fight infections, which were a major cause of death before antibiotics existed. After returning from a holiday in September 1928, Fleming noticed something unusual in his laboratory. One of his culture plates, which contained bacteria, had been accidentally contaminated with mold. Normally this would be thrown away, but Fleming looked closer. Around the mold, the bacteria had been destroyed. There was a clear zone where no bacteria could grow. Fleming realized the mold was producing a substance that killed bacteria. The mold was later identified as Penicillium nodatum, and Fleming named the substance penicillin. He published his findings, correctly noting that penicillin could kill many harmful bacteria without harming human cells. However, Fleming faced a major problem. Penicillin was very difficult to produce and purify with the technology available at the time. Because of this, his discovery was largely ignored for several years. In the late 1930s and early 1940s, other scientists, including Howard Florey and Ernst Boris Chain, continued Fleming's work. They developed methods to produce penicillin in large quantities. During World War II, penicillin was used to treat infected wounds and illnesses, saving countless lives. It became the world's first widely used antibiotic and completely changed modern medicine. In 1945, Alexander Fleming, along with Florey and Chain, received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. The discovery of penicillin proved that careful observation can change the world and save millions of lives.